Um, so yeah, I applied to um, Questbridge and to the Gates Scholarship and I got both of those. I was one of 300 students that got it out of a pool of, I think, 28,000. I just didn't want my parents to worry about having to pay for my, my college because both of my parents are immigrants from Mexico. So I think that's been a big, that's had a big influence on my life. My parents, like, reminding me, like, oh, school, 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 school. Like, if you want to be someone in this country, um, the, like, the most practical and, like, easiest way is to go to school. So, you know, that was always, like, in the back of my mind as a little kid. We went to Garfield Middle School down the street, and we started a robotics team there with the little kids. It was so meaningful to me because most of the kids we were working with were Hispanic like me, um, underprivileged coming from low-income families, so just being able to give back to my community. Um, the summer between junior year and senior year, I went on the Alaska expedition. So that was a three-week wilderness expedition in Prince William Sound. So that was, we were, you know, disconnected from the world without our phones, on kayaks, going from shore to shore, camping. So being able to lead a group of other students in the wilderness in the sea really taught me that I can be able to adapt to different circumstances and to get out of my comfort zone. So it was just a, a great experience for me to grow as a person, uh, show myself that I can be independent when I go off to college. I'm like in between mechanical engineering, computer science, electrical engineering. I've always had a thing for like the, I guess the environment so I've really been interested in like renewable energies but you know I'm also interested in like in the programming stuff being able to like write something and then have a computer do it for you something that'll make someone's life easier without having an toll and impact on the environment because you know at the pace where we're at right now we're probably gonna destroy our, our world in the next I don't know 200 100 years so if I have the ability to maybe postpone that or, you know, just get rid of that threat um, so that we don't hurt the ecosystems, the environment, and so that we can thrive for the following, I don't know, a thousand years, 